Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you're allowing yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now, folks? Because that's the name of the game. Market rise! Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 162. NASDAQ up 100, S&P's up 29, gold contract up $4.60, trading at 1770 an ounce. We have silver up 45 cents, $23.72 an ounce. Late sweet crude up 44 cents, $82.88 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 7 ticks, 137.17. The 30 year off a full point, plus 11 ticks at 158.07 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down uh, 205 ticks, trading out here at uh, 93.748. Euro is 116, yen is at 114.30, and the British pound is at 137 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We took out the swing yesterday. You took out the swing, light volume. No, no two ways about that, man. You're coming into the downdraft, the first downdraft that was created out here on September 10th. Now, the top of that is uh, 451.49. Uh, We've hit 450.56. Uh, we're coming into that with volume that's contracted in a monster way. Uh, we've done 32 million shares. I figure we'll do 40 million. Well, you're coming into 89. That being said, you have held price. If you hold price, bottom line, it's going to try to get to the top of this uh, bar, which is the uh, 451.49, which is about a point higher than it's gone so far. Today, we've hit 450.56. You're 20 cents below that right now. Your NDX 100. NDX 100 just got over the swing point that the S&P uh, bottom line has taken out yesterday. That's coming into the swing. Uh, this would have to come down a dollar to have a failure. It's uh, 374.04. That's, that's the number. Uh, it's not going to have the volume, that's for sure. We're doing 21 million shares. Uh, you're going into... 44 million, and that's not even talking about the downdraft. The downdraft out here has 60 million. Uh, we'll see what it can hold coming into the close. When we take a look at the uh, NQ futures, what you're going to see is that we just got a small sell. Uh, first one, uh, in fact, because if you take if you take a look at the market in general, when we opened yesterday, this has been a one-way trip on the way up. At the beginning of the market out here today, um, you got a little downdraft that down that that being said someone came in and bought a huge amount of futures man uh you know it, that thing popped in, and it popped in a big way then you've gone up and what we just did do is that you got a little downdraft and it has volume on that downdraft of that uh, 362 right now you're at 387 gold gold contract here continues to want higher price we take a look at the gold contract jeez december gold out here uh, trading at 1770, you get 166,000 contracts. Not bad contract volume. Uh, bottom line, it's gonna it's gonna need some juice to get up and over here. Okay, what we did is this: is that you had the ying as well as the yang last week. Uh, the ying going topside, we had uh, 299,000 contracts. Big day. When you pull back on Friday, we pull back with 200,000. So 200,000. Going against the strength of the 299, yesterday you rejected lower price with 150, now you're building cause. Pretty cool, actually, the way this is setting up. Uh, we go to the GDX. What you have inside the gold market right now, folks, is this. If you're in the gold market, it's pretty cool how this is setting up. And what I mean specifically is this. If you understand the ABC structures, we have a potential ABC structure in many of these equities. And, man, it's set up nice, okay? So... You know, what's really cool about an ABC structure on the way up or the way down, as it takes out the B point, you're either going to have the volume or you don't. When you have the volume, your probability goes much higher that you're going to get your price projection. And you can see in the GDX, 
right now, the, the moves are pretty cool. I mean, the B point inside the GDX is 32.93, and you need 25 million shares traded. Well, we're laying right underneath that right now. If you want to take a couple, look at a couple others, they're, they're there, and they're, they're in Spain. You got Anglo Ashanti, same type of setup, and this is a big one. I mean, if, that took, if this takes out the, the, the B point, the B point is 2.9 million, 19.24. Um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big A to B. Uh, Goldfields is also a big A to B. Let me go see if Newmont, I don't think Newmont's done anything. Newmont's a lag it right now. Well, it wouldn't be a large ABC structure up, but it would be an ABC up. That's set up the same way, so pretty cool. Now, let's go take a look at the dollar, because the dollar just about missed, okay, um, where I suspected it was actually going to go for. And wh what it was is this, okay? So that we have a swing point out here that's back September of 2020. It's 94,742. I think we hit 94,500. 94,561. 94, then we, what happened is that we came off of that, and you came off that with conviction. So conviction in the... In the marketplace, okay, my definition of conviction, folks, is that you're going up or down with wide price spread and volume. Uh, we do not have volume inside the currency markets because the currency markets trade in a million different places. Well, not a million, but hundreds of different places. Um, what we did do is that we came off the high and you had conviction on the way down. Uh, 93,729 gets you inside the lower range. Now, we, we got in there today and rejected it. We'll see how this baby shakes out. But it looks to me that the way gold is trading, that the dollar does want higher price. And now let's go over to the uh, bond market, uh, because what we have inside the bond market, bond market has been going into the lower end of its consolidation. Uh, what we have out here today, the 10-year is testing the lows of yesterday, and you have a monster contraction. So my take is that what you're going to see is you're going to see a rejection of lower price again in the note and bond market. They want higher price as this market pulls back. That's the way it looks that it's set up. Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back. I'm at Mr. Basil Chapman. Dow Industrials up right now, up 167. You get the Nasdaq up 104. S&P's up 30. We're coming right back.